Hello. This is a test and a test of Bob's proximity sensor. One. Um, the way this works is there's power that comes in on the right. The right is the infrared LED. And you can sometimes see a little bit on camera that it's actually emitting, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's a 100k ohm resistor and 4.7k, uh, 100 ohm resistor on the right and 4.7k on the left, arranged in this fashion. Um, this is what I'm presuming what that that they're used for, and it seems to actually be somewhat sensitive. But I have the lights almost off in the entire room for it to be sensitive at all, the height wise. So it will give you a height measurement. But I haven't tried it with water. I'll do that just next. But let me. Okay, let's see if this improves in the dark. Let's say I'm going through a couple of inches as I approach the infrared emitter. Note this will not work during the day, so it has to be in a sealed container. Um, it will do perfectly fine. But if it gives a voltage range, I could pick that up on a microcontroller. Almost all of them will pick up on the analog input. I just got to check for the, imp the uh, loading, if we have to put any preamps or anything along the way. But I don't think we will have to. I think I did it with a 4.7k ohm voltage divider, so that should be perfect. Try one other thing. Okay, let's see now if this thing is sensitive to water reflection. I have a glass of water right there, and moving it over, it changes, but it doesn't appear to change much at all. It appears to show me amount the same amount as if I had that, and if I go lower down, it goes down. So, what I may try to do now is fill a glass of water and see if it drains out somehow. If I can do that, drain a glass of water. But it seems like, see, if I put that in there, it's registering 3.1 with a full glass of water. Let's empty it out. Well, it turns out I just emptied a glass of water out, and I actually got the exact opposite reading. I got a reading that shows that it's actually closer. I suspect that's because the reflection of the container is actually white, and it reflects the infrared. So I need to find a black or black painted container in order to actually accurately test the water. And that should be it for this little test.